Good day everyone. My name is Dea Radhika Putri from Srivijaya State Polytechnic. On these occasions, I would like to deliver my presentations in the form of informative speech in the topic, the role of ICT educations for young people to achieve Indonesian sustainable welfare, to achieve sustainable development goals, number four, indicated by proportions of youth and adults with ICT skills, and number eight, indicated by proportions of youth not in educations, employment, or training. Indonesia is well known for the tremendous natural and human resources that have the potential to be developed to contribute to the country's sustainable welfare. However, the data from the National Statistics Agency in February 2022 showed that the unemployment in Indonesia was 8.14 million people. Based on this number, more than 59% of unemployed in Indonesia are young people between 15 until 29 years old. This percentage equals more or less 4.98 million. Seeing a large number of unemployed young people recently shows that the current youth have not been able to take advantage of the current situations to increase their welfare one of which is using the internet. Day by day, internet user Indonesia continue to grow. By the end of 2022, the user Indonesia will reach around 210 million users. Nevertheless, most of them, especially youth, use the internet often for entertainment, such as social media, YouTube, and games, rather than using it for information sources, business platforms, and entrepreneurships in general. Based on these facts, ICT skills are the solutions to elevate the productivity of today's youth in which they are used not only for entertainment, but also for creating and developing jobs opportunities regarding their interests. According to the data from the Internet Lab Stats, in 2022, there are more than 1.89 billion websites on the internet today that can be accessed to share valuable information that young people can use to be creative young printers. So far, the use of the internet as a medium of information has only been used massively for formal education and entertainment. On the other hand, the information provided on the internet can be filtered to gain various skills for the real world, which is commonly the main goals of education, to be implemented in the real environment and industrial world. Because ICT is the way out for youth to improve their laborhood to contribute to Indonesia's sustainable welfare, this solution can be manifested by two main mechanisms. The first is to make effective use of the internet by improving the skills of young people to turn information into abilities, providing materials, workshops, and training to increase awareness of youth in maximizing the ICT can eventually open the horizon and get familiar with the industrial and entrepreneurship world through business startup workshops. The second mechanism is to change the behavior of youth in the consumptive use of the internet to be productive user. They can use the internet to create a business, knowing how to manage existing resources so that it can become an economic opportunity to be developed. This can help those who have no formal education to remain creative and have a job opportunities. Later on, this system can be applied in all places. For instance, youth in the rural area who are not well educated and formally employed can start using the internet to get information to process natural resources around them to become a business opportunities. One of them is processing agriculture related information to produce high quality local product to avoid threats of investors. Ultimately, they can stand their own feet shortly. In conclusion, ICT is the most powerful weapon in today's world to successfully and effectively gain practical skill for young people as an accessible education at any time and anywhere. It is hoped that by using a proper ICT education, Indonesia can achieve sustainable welfare by changing young minds from consumptive to productive.